Yes, Hari Om to all the Atma Jyotis, divine light of the self. So very happy to be back uh, for uh, Dharma Kshetra. Yeah, we missed it for Diwali, but then I'm sure all of us were in uh, Dhyana of Krishna. Even while we were celebrating all the festivals. Okay. Oh. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Vyasaya Vishnu Rupaya, Vyasa Rupaya Vishnave, Namo Vai Brahma Nidhaye Vasishthaya Namo Namaha, Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kamsa Chanura Maddanam, Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Guru. So today I came to know that it, this is a Gopa Ashtami. Gopa Ashtami ante. That means uh, this is the day some 5000 years ago when uh, Nanda, the father of Krishna, allowed Krishna to take the cows to graze for the first time. Cowherd Krishna was born today. <laughs> Each of us have a ritual for the children, like Brahmopadesha or whatever it is, or driver's license kind of thing. So today it was Krishna, Gopashtami. So just trivia I came to know in the morning. <laughs> hmm. Okay, where were we, Andre? We were in the chapter 16. We seem to be there for a long time. Uh, we were discussing all these uh, Daivi and Asuri qualities. We are still with the Daivi qualities. Um, plenty of them. Uh, plenty of Daivi qualities. Like uh, we have some 21 Daivi qualities. First we discuss the Daivi qualities and the rest of the chapter is all about Asuri qualities and how to avoid the Asuri qualities, the rest of the chapter. But... Uh, the expansion is about the Daivi qualities for us in this class. So let's go with that. Mm. So what is the importance of these Daivi qualities? Why should we... I mean, I know it's good to be good danta, but still, as a sadhaka, uh, why, why are these uh, qualities very, very critical? Please, someone, please... Uh, because there was this question in one of the AVSCs. Why does God not... See, God is uh, pure consciousness and we are all pure consciousness. Yet, God speaks only through the enlightened ones. Why not uh, the rest of us? Anta? There was a question. So, what would you answer? Anyone, please volunteer. Why does because, God talk? Uh, huh, because... Yes. For railing, realizing yourself, you need qualification. For any job, for that matter, mm. you need qualification. Ah, oh, bolo. Correct. Ah. Anything. If I am a servant maid, I need to do work clean. Mm. If, I am a, if I am an accountant, I should know accountancy very well. I should have a qualification for Yes. Uh, if I'm a dancer, I should know dancing. Hmm. If I want to learn dancing, I should have interest in dancing. So, this is a quest, which is a very, very... Uh, uh, it is not a quest for just uh, learning and leaving like that. It is a life quest. Life quest. For that, you need Chitta Shuddhi. Hmm. And Chitta Shuddhi, you don't get it so easily. For that, you have to have all the qualities. That is Viveka, Vairagya, Shamadamadi, Shat, Sampati, Mukshatva, Shamadama, Uparati, Titiksha, Shraddha, Samadhan. All this is required. Hmm. And what is it? On the whole, these are all all the daily qualities. Mm. Yep. You need patience. You need tolerance. You need shraddha in your guru and scriptures. 
you need viveka discrimination to know that which is uh, uh, atma vastu which is anatma vastu and then you have to need to know that okay this is anatma vastu i don't want this mm. that vairagyam you should have are we chalega wo bhi karungi main oh it's okay fine means you will get distracted finished mm. you go to that path your route will change once you open one door you have to go through that door only yeah you cannot do both satsang and dussang together no no that is why devi qualities are given Hi. so much importance yes very well said nirmala so we should not lose sight of this goal and sometimes when we lose sight of the goal no we get such uh, questions why god is not speaking to me why how can he speak your door is closed isn't it that's why <laughs> one does. little thing if i miss this class <laughs> oh, so what i'll make it up next class you will think come on but you have yeah. lost it mm -hmm. yeah yeah <clears throat> you have lost so any little opportunity like uh, our rahul just said any chance you want to grab for satsang that's all if not this something else always in satsang nice okay let us uh, chant this uh, second shloka second set of qualities uh, there are three verses and this has got a, <clears throat> some qualities the uh, spelt out here ahinsa satyam akrodaha tyagaha shantihi apaishunam daya bhuteshu alolutvatvam mardavam prihi achapalam See, some of us can chant. Please go ahead in your own tune. Ahimsa satyam akrodaha. Ahimsa. Ahimsa satyam akrodha. Tyagaha. Shantir apeshunam. Tyaga shantir apeshunam. Tyaga shantir apeshunam. दया भूतेशु अलोलुप्पम अलोलुप्पम मार्तवम तीरचापलम यस दिस इज ऑल द शमदमा हाउ डू एवरीथिंग ऑल द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ द सेम पेरेंट या एनीवन एल्स अहिंसा सत्यम क्रोधः त्यागः शान्तिरपैशनम दयाभूतेशु लोलुप्त्यं लोलुप्पम मार्धवं रीरचापलं या इन्यारो एनीवन एल्स वांट टू चैंट वी कैन डू दैट सी इट्स नाइस टू चैंट एंड चैंटिंग आल्सो क्लियर्स आवर स्पीच स्पीच विल बिकम मोर स्पष्टा इसन्ट इट अहिंसा सत्यम आक्रोधस्तिर्पीशुना दया भूतेश्व आलोक्त मधव हृरअापल दया भूतेश्वलोलु दया भूतेश्वलोलु मधव हृरअापल Yes, very nice. Thank you. Okay, so if anyone wants to chant, put up your hand. Otherwise, we shall discuss these uh, qualities. Last time we had done a few of this. Uh, we can uh, pick up from uh, Atyagaha. There was one critical point which I want all of us to again recall. So Atyaga, of course, we all know what this Atyaga is. So anyone wants to say one one line about Atyaga? What is Atyaga? Shweta, I will call out the names then. What to do? <laughs> What is tyaga, Shweta? Tyaga is sacrifice. Sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, Shweta. Ah, uh, yeah. So, sorry, I was about to say sacrifice. I thought you called me out. Never mind. Yes, sir. I, I did. I did call out both the Shwetas. You want to say anything else about tyaga? What do you want to do, tyaga? Of ah, uh, renunciation. Renounce what? uh my bad qualities like uh, demonic qualities okay all right 
जय श्री वॉट डू वी सैक्रिफाइस कैन यू अनम्यूट जय श्री कमला इंदिरा सैक्रिफाइस ऑफ एंगर फियर ग्रीड ओके ओके कमला गुरु जी इन शक्ति दर्शन प्रोग्राम स्पेसिफाइड दैट द उत्तम त्याग इज आत्म त्याग लाइक वेन वी सरेंडर एंड सैक्रिफाइस अवर प्राणा टू द गुरु देन एवरीथिंग इट विल बी टेकन करेक्ट सैक्रिफाइस द लोअर क्वालिटीज ऑल ऑल योर यू नो द फ्रॉम द मूलाधारा uh uh you know progressing to the all the chakras you sacrifice all those qualities offer not a sacrifice offer all those qualities to the guru who is in the agnya okay that is one tyaga and uh, yagna rather more than tyaga it's an yagna yes rahul you want to say what what tyaga we are speaking about here i think yeah nanu nan embudu nan alla anna one belief system ge parvaga so guru ji helatra so the moment i am letting go of any thought that is making me believe i am the body i am the mind i am the intellect yes. any thought related to that i am letting go so very, yeah. very nice yes purima <clears throat> can you hear me yes i can padma ja helu okay mm. so shall i tell yes yes please yes So, tyaga here is not basically physically giving up anta is mm. also is giving up the attachment to that mm. also that is the most important thing that attachment i may like coffee ah. but giving up coffee is not exactly that tyaga you know that attachment should not be there if i Very coffee good. is there it's fine i like it but mm. if it's not there i'm not kind of no oh no i have to take it anta adu you know it's not there that attachment to you know bmi or any object or any person mm. Up that attachment, that is tyaga. Very well said. That that becomes easy when we our focus is on something higher. Ah. So that Atma, God, Dharma, Karma Yoga, whatever you call, mm. but your focus is on on that particular aspect of that. Mm. Then tyaga is very easy. Correct. It becomes easy. Very well said. Very well said, Padma Ja. So Guru Ji actually point. one of his story gives an example of Udham Singh. Should I uh -huh. share it or the story? Please do. Yes, of course. So 13th of uh, April 1919, the Jallianwala Bagh massacre happened. The person who was responsible was Lieutenant Governor of Punjab, Michael O. Dwyer. It's in. Mm. So the many people were killed. I think around 1,500 people were killed. They said, and uh, more than 1,200 injured. Mm. So there was a guy called Udham Singh, who was around 20 year old at that particular time. but he has uh, you know when he was 3 years old his mother died 8 years old father died he was he put in a, his uncle put him in an orphanage but he was very disturbed with that uh, incident and he has taken a thing that at any cost he is not going to leave that person who is responsible for it mm. he waited for 20 years had a grudge for the 20 years and after 20 years he killed that michael o dyer dyer going to his uh, you know country i think Mm. So he was executed there, but he doesn't. He doesn't repent for that. So mm -hmm. Guruji, the Prabhuji says that that is like you know ultimate tyaga anta. Ah, tara for mm. the, his people, the one who is responsible for so many killings, I cannot leave him anta. How to? That is another tyaga. Justice has to be meted out to him. Hmm. Yes. Thank you, Padma Ja. It's very inspiring story. Hmm. Because he was of that mentality, Raja Sikh. मे बी आ सात्विक पर्सन अमांग प्रॉपर एंड गुड 
and renounce and let go of it. Otherwise, if I go on uh, holding on to my karma, good or bad, I will generate papa or punya. Doership is what we have to drop. Tyaga of doership. That is the main tyaga we have to do. Then everything else will follow. Everything else will follow. Because the moment I have doership, either I am racked by guilt or I am bothered by pride. Both of us, both of them will lead to papa and punya. Isn't it? So, as sadhakas, as mumukshus, this is what we need to remember all the time. Karma phala tyaga. Krishnarpanam, Krishnarpanam, Krishnarpanam. Help kon hokta radashte. That is why this karma phala tyaga will break the cycle of karma and karma phala. That's the most important thing we have to do. Okay, good. Shanti hi. Shanti, of course, all of us know it means peace. Peace is a quality, it's a virtue. How do you practice Shanti? Is it possible to practice Shanti, people? How do we go about it, practicing Shanti? Shanti cannot be practiced. It's a result of all these good virtues, isn't it? It's a, uh, it's a, it's a... Byproduct. Byproduct. It's a very important byproduct or it's the main product that comes out of practicing all these virtues. Shanti is a natural in it follows us. You cannot practice Shanti. So that's all. Peace of mind. It comes with letting go of this uh, karma phala, tyaga, everything is done. And of course, a peaceful person's, uh, what, what are the qualities of a peaceful person? One, one quality. Please tell. What is, uh, what makes you peaceful? He doesn't react, doesn't get angry. Yes, correct. Yes. Anything else? <clears throat> jealousy. He's not. No jealousy. jealousy. Yeah. Basically, this uh, person. Ah, yes, Padmaja. Mostly, you know, for every situation, there's a response. A stay. Response. Yeah. Things, a response. Calmness. It bit. Oh, he will be thinking. Should I respond or not? Maybe you know. Wherever it is not required, unnecessarily, don't spend energy on that. Simple. Mm. Correct. Simple. And a peaceful person is a non-demanding, non-wanting person. Yes or no? No expectations from no anybody way. around. Non-demanding. This should be like that. It has to go this way. That doesn't mean he is a very lax person. No. He is relaxed only and intense. Still, uh... <laughs> Correct. Yes. He is not lax. He is relaxed. Very nice. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> And that person is uh, very happy in his or her own company. Non-demanding, non-wanting. All these Not are... tense, but intense. Not tense, but it in intense. Are you, huh? Very nice. Uh, nice, nice, nice. And nothing bothers. Inside, see, we can bother about hundred of hundreds of things in front of us, but inside I'm quiet. That is Shanti. Atmanieva Atmana Truptaha. That's a famous, beautiful line from the Gita. One who revels in her own company. That is Shanti. That peace comes only with all these virtues that have, are being discussed. Okay. Um, then Apaishunam. Apaishunam means um, Pishacha tendency. This is opposite of Pishacha tendency. Apishacha. Paishunam means deceit, deceitful tendency, meanness, all this called as pishacha tendency. And we sometimes for children also, my grandparents used to call it pishachi, they would say, you know, to little kids. Means they go on, they go on irritating and they go on needling people, creating conflict between them. That is pishacha tendency. Mm -hmm. So, lack of that pishacha tendency is apaishunam. So, backbiting, creating a rift between people, all these paishunam, poisoning people's minds against one against the other. So, I, I don't think uh, any of us fall into that category. So, we can just say, okay, we are not that, we are not, we are apaishunas. <laughs> yes, Padmaja. If we find more faults in other persons, basically mm. our own mind gets more polluted. 
ఫైండింగ్ ఫాల్ట్స్ అంట సో అవాయిడ్ ఫైండింగ్ ఫాల్ట్స్ yes if you want to improve another person i think we should focus more on their positive aspects instead of looking at more on the negative what are the positive improve on that work on do not look at the negatives negatives uh, has to be at the minimum yes so wherever and whatever we our attention grows uh, goes that grows basically that grows <coughs> very well said so it is like a frisbee it will come back to you whatever you throw at others whatever thought you throw about others it's all about yourself because what did ramana maharshi say there is no other where are the others see so deep ultimately that's the truth we have to hang on to all the time there is no other person over here there's only me even when somebody again uh, opposite you is behaving in a like general dwyer who shot indiscriminately indiscriminately opened fire in jalian wala bag very very hard to think of think of him as me <laughs> it's very hard but there it is at the base we are all the same at the level of consciousness we are all the same so when we are destroying general dwyer we have to also think that i have to destroy those qualities in me these paishanam qualities and uh, himsa qualities all these qualities have to be destroyed in me alone okay yat bhavam tad bhavati yat bhavam tad bhavati even if you have to kill that general dwyer in the physical plane we have to do with the sense of karma phala tyaga like how krishna did in the war, in the kurukshetra war he did everything possible but it was nothing touches krishna isn't it wonderful it's amazing actually how to be like that that applies to karna also no he gave up all his karma phala then only he could attain that uh, he, he 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 could die right okay uh, i don't know about that when did he give up that karma phala i mean is there an episode which uh, anecdote which says that somewhere no. Uh, no so whatever punya and papa whatever i mean krishna uh, um came as a uh, uh, brahmin and took away all his punya then oh. only he was able to kill him oh like that okay. is that right kamla yeah. was that what yeah, yeah correct mm. the, the punya was punya. about his head protecting him completely from mm. all the arrows mm. arjuna was hitting Mm. so krishna went in the form of uh, brahmin correct and he said uh, please mm. can you uh, please can you give a danam mm. so ayyo why have you come at this hour huh. when i have nothing in my hand mm. he said um no uh, uh, problem uh, you have all the punyas mm. of all danams so please can you give immediately he gives everything mm very nice so yeah, punya ji uh, yeah continue nirmal ji please please nirmal i think nirmal ji was saying something no rahul go ahead go ahead ah. even in so kavacha kundalam he gave yeah yeah, yeah. Ah. i mean i had heard of uh, like this one of those upa puranas i mean small story i, I source gotilla nange i don't know but uh, this incident where uh, uh krishna and arjuna were having a discussion as to who is the most uh, uh, tyaga mindset ra person yaru anta maatadtharuvaga krishna happens to say it is karna mm. so and then when arjuna asks him how how can you can you prove that and <clears throat> so then krishna takes uh, arjuna to a huge pile of gold apparently Mm. Yeah, i i i'm not sure where i heard that story neeve helidra nange nenpilla nange so never mind you recall it for us yeah. uh, so he takes him to a huge pile of uh, gold and then uh, he tells him i want you to distribute this mm. so arjuna becomes very happy that he can actually do this charity madabodu anta so he calls up all the villagers and, and uh, elu go get your bags or whatever it is gunny bags so and he he takes a shovel and then he starts taking those gold coins and he starts pouring uh, heaps and heaps of gold to everyone 
ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಫುಲ್ ಪ್ರೈಡ್ ಇಂದ ಹಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನೋಡಿದ್ಯಾ ಎಷ್ಟು ದಾನಿ ನಾನು ಐಮ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಚಾರಿಟಬಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಅನೋ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಉದಾರ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅವೇ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಕರ್ಣ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಅಂತ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಸೊ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕರ್ಣ ಹಿ ಶೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಮೌಂಟೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಡೊನೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಇಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಶವೆಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೊ ಕರ್ಣ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ವಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅವೇ ಅಂತ ಹಿ ಡೆಂಟ್ ಇವನ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಓನರ್ಶಿಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅನ್ನ ಭಾವನು ಐ ಡೆಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೋರ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ರೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆರಿ this is right rahul mm-hmm. but a little bit i have to add is he says krishna's uh, uh, when arjuna asks him why karna i am also i can also give i also give so much mm-hmm. so he said no no uh, he gives one two heap one heap of diamond to arjuna one mm-hmm. heap of diamond to karna karna mm-hmm. and it has to be distributed within this day day time or what mm-hmm. okay, and okay. Th- th- this fellow is shoveling <laughs> and he is not be able to finish even half mm-hmm. so he, and but uh, karna uh, so uh, he comes and says karna uh, i am not able to finish what happened to karna oh within uh, uh, two minutes he finished and went he <laughs> gave, made half gave each one and left that place he didn't mm. as you said he didn't have the feeling that it is mine mm. and i am giving mm. Mm. all that he didn't have correct correct right krishna gave it take it finished mm. very so, nice, any nice anecdote yeah so one more... similar one also purnima ji uh, uh-huh. once uh, i think uh, krishna uh, and uh, indra so they decide to again test uh, who is the most uh, charitable uh, you know king so they first go to uh, yudhishthira's court mm. and then uh, you know they they say you know, and they go in the in the disguise of uh, some sages some munis and it rab we are doing this huge uh, yagna and we, we we need firewood and the keli he goes to the court mm mm-hmm. uh yudhishthira says why not uh, I, i i you know i will send my army to get as much firewood as possible and he sends the army and uh, but it's again a divine plan so indra and krishna they make it rain a lot mhm so oh. there's severe rain that comes and there is absolutely no dry wood that they are able to get from anywhere so the sainya comes back the army comes back saying we are not able to get any dry wood anywhere at all anta so they express their failure ha uh-huh. this tara very uh, repentantly he uh, sort of say apologizes to krishna and indra of course he doesn't know that it's them so bere yen bekadru keli please ask anything else but i am not able to not give this dry wood yeah. because it's raining and so these two they just say don't worry no problem we'll take care of it and then then they leave and then they go to karna's uh, <clears throat> uh, court same scene uh, uh, repeats there mm. his army also comes back and says it's raining and there's no wood available mm. karna immediately looks around then he says break down all the windows and yes. doors and uh, give it yeah. to me so so i didn't uh. bother about it. <laughs> yeah so intense uh, tyaga i mean i, I, I think we need to know the word tyaga mm. yeah dana veera shura karna <laughs> yeah while on this topic it's it's so interesting i came across another anecdote uh, when yudhishthira was performing the rajasuya yagna um he wanted to appoint it appoint a treasurer see the one of the main features of a yagna is to uh, give away to the brahmins and other needy people whatever they want so um, so he was wondering whom to appoint as a treasurer and krishna said appoint duryodhana of all people okay then yudhishthira asked why so he said uh, you just wait and see and then at the end of the yagna he say he sees that um, all the things that he had kept for dana everything was gone 
So the moral, Krishna said, see, because you kept Duryodhana, he went on giving. It's not mine, no. Mera kya jata hai? And he went on giving. Take, 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 like that. If it was his own coffers, perhaps he wouldn't have parted with all that so easily. So that was just an aside. There is no lesson here. Uh, just like that, I remember that. So it's these things are there. Okay. <clears throat> the lesson is, when it comes to other people's things, we are very generous. We are very generous. I think that's a good strategy also. You know, children, uh, parents with two or three children, they will tell one fellow to cut the other fellow to distribute. You know, that's a strategy. <laughs> to, to cut the cake, one child will cut the cake, the other fellow has to distribute. So naturally, it is going to be an equitable distribution because... You know that if you cut a bigger cake for yourself, it will go to the other fellow. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. The next quality here is Daya Bhuteshu. And Kshama also, we can take them together. Daya Bhuteshu, of course, compassion for each and every being. We know that every each and every being is none other than me. Sat Chit Ananda. Every... Every, even an ant, amoeba, every single cell. See, how do, how do, how do the cells multiply in the body? A bo life starts with a single cell. Because that cell also has the same Chaitanya, the same Chidabhasa is being reflected in that single cell. That is why every, we are all, all sentient beings are Satchidananda. Yes. Uh, 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 in uh, we have studied this manigana eva ah sutre manigana eva that is the if you mm. just throw the um, uh, pearls mm. scatter like something mm. but when there is a decay thread going through each one That's of them nice. it looks like a beautiful necklace mm. The universe is going like that because yes. we are all connected with each other yes. with a small thread named Chaitanyam. Chaitanyam. Shashvatam. Shantam. Shantam. Vyomatitam. Niranjanam. Nada Bindu Kalatitam. Tasmai Shri Guravin Namaha. That is me. That is you. That is each and every being on earth. Therefore, Daya Bhuteshu, it makes sense. Daya Bhuteshu and Kshama. Huh? Daya Bhuteshu. Here I would like to recall something I heard recently. It is very, very beautiful. So we all keep saying, I am Sachidananda, I am Sachidananda, you are Sachidananda. But how will I translate that in my everyday activity, uh, everyday interaction with others? How do I treat uh, you, for example, or somebody... Uh, some stranger, for example, as Sachidananda, how in my interaction. So here I got a very beautiful insight. Sat means existence. Huh. The main teaching here was don't make anybody feel insignificant. You know, we do that sometimes. We make them feel, ha, you're not important. I'm talking to him, not you kind of thing. Don't make people feel insignificant. Don't make the other feel unintelligent what do you know you have you know nothing kind of dialogues no then third one don't make the other feel unhappy insignificant unintelligent unhappy these three things we have to avoid making others feel why because our nature is sat existence itself what is existence? It's infinite and eternal. How can I be insignificant? That is why when you make somebody feel insignificant, it feels, if somebody makes me feel insignificant and unimportant, I feel very constricted. I don't like the feeling. Who, who likes it, you tell me? Who likes to feel stupid and insignificant? And to, to make somebody feel stupid? No, I'm chit itself. I'm consciousness. The knowing principle. Since I am the knowing principle, I am not unintelligent. It's impossible for anyone to be stupid. 
So when somebody makes me feel stupid, again I feel limited and unhappy. No, my nature is ananda. Why would I want to be unhappy and make others unhappy? Unhappiness is a very, very unnatural state. So all these three, three things you are undermining when we do such things to others. You make them feel stupid, you make them feel insignificant and you make them unhappy. Three things are no-nos. That means you are negating the Satchidananda nature of yourself as well as the other person. Isn't it beautiful? That is why we have to practice Daya Bhuteshu. When we remember these things, that I am Satchidananda, you are Satchidananda, everyone else is Satchidananda, those are the qualities we need to highlight all the time whenever we get the chance. Okay? Yes, somebody has. He might be a, he might be a prime minister. He might ah. be. He's a human being only, no? Yeah. Remember, hmm. basically, what are you? You're a human being only, no? Yeah. Even See, prime as minister, as... we will get all the this thing. But think of the lower level <laughs> beings that we interact. No, no, lower level, see, my God. Even, even, a, even a speck of dust, they say, there is a Subhashitani, even a speck of dust, don't treat it very flippantly. One day it might fly into your eye and, you know, <laughs> cause you a lot of yeah. pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I think even small things is... can hurt you. Yes. Yes, Padmaja? I think for this particular point, Daya Bhuteshu, we have to uh, always see, we have to put ourselves in other shoes and then yes. understand. Correct. Automatically, Daya Bhuteshu, will, Daya quality will come. Quality will come. Always think from the other point of view and see where the shoe pinches. Very correct. Very nice. Correct. Hmm. So, Daya Bhuteshu. Kshama. Kshama will follow. Uh, why did I add Kshama here? It comes later also. But still. See, they are all affiliated qualities. You can't be so this thing about it. Okay. Hmm. Alo, alo, ha, Tell me. Shama, tell me. You hmm. will get that, uh, you know, forgiveness. Hmm. That forgiveness is very important. Mm. If you can forgive the other man, you can forgive yourself, Baba. Otherwise, you know what happens? The mind is so full of the other man. How dare he do that to me? How he insulted me? How he treated me insignificantly? I am so sad. Huh? How he has no right? You know, it will go round and round and round and round. Yeah, and he'll come back to you also. And yes. you will never uh, think of anything else. Every time you will be remembering that. But okay. once you forgive that person, you are forgiving yourself. That is what? Tyaga. Every moment do Tyaga. Huh, here, I had heard one Guruji's uh, old talk in which says, we are all Tyagis only. All of us. You think you are not a Tyagi, but you are. My, my nature itself is Tyaga. Why? Because I cannot hold on to a thought properly for half a second, you know. <laughs> the mind goes on doing tyaga of the thoughts. Tuck, 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 karke. So, tyaga is the nature of everything in me. The cells, that they are dying every moment. Uh, like I, that. I tell you one thing. <clears throat> the miseriest man. The miseriest man. The miser. The yes, greatest mm. tyaga. <laughs> it's the greatest Tyaga. Uh -huh. He can't even spend one paise on himself. <laughs> when he dies, he leaves it all for the others. Ashte. He's a Tyagi. Yeah. He's Biggest Tyagi. tyagi. Biggest. <laughs> because mm. he can't even spend for himself. Mm. Yeah. So, there is one example uh, I came across for this uh, Dayabhut issue. How to forgive? That might be a... It is difficult, you know, for us. Fortunately, we are probably we are not in a position. Yeah. But someone who has been wrong... So, See, like, I've been uh, reading. I uh, will forgive people, but mm. I won't forget the incident. What is the point? I can huh? forgive, but I cannot forget. Okay. Mm. What mm. has happened? But it is not doing it completely from your uh, body mind. Adikke. Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. the negativity in the mind should be filled with positivity so that the negativity is flushed away. There is no other way, Jayashi. And then intellectually first understand and then it will come down to the mind and the physical level also. That's it. 
what was i trying to tell hmm how to forgive yeah uh, when um, uh, the teeth bite uh, bite the tongue accidentally we do that most of the time does the tongue take revenge on the teeth it cannot and it will not that is how we have to look at the, the so called injustices that we might come across teeth biting the tongue like that <laughs> I, I, there is a small little another story please uh -huh. i will just say this uh -huh. the, the the tongue was saying thank you so much you give me the best food teeth teeth thank you so much the teeth said please mm -hmm. one thing you do tongue be careful what you talk <laughs> because the others when you talk badly the others say you know i will break your teeth they say they don't say i will break your teeth <laughs> i like it <laughs> that was so funny <laughs> very nice very nice correct <laughs> mm if a chennai catches a cold bangalore sneezes something like that yeah okay next quality is alolupatmam lolu lolupa is one who is a covetous i want this i want that greed greed greedy person lolupa is one who collects things i want everything i want everything i want this i want that so that alolupatmam is not to be affected by you can do window shopping but don't take it home hmm? that is what this alolupatmam is so even for doing window shopping also you need a lot of self control otherwise your purse strings will open mm so this uh, lolupatam is a uh, it's a weakness it's a weakness of the mind <clears throat> that's all so no weakness is allowed in sadhana for a mumukshu okay anything so else this uh, prabhu ji gives an example hmm iit students uh -huh. they have a goal that oh. they want to get into iit you have to see the way they sacrifice and the way they keep themselves away from all the pleasures of going to a movie going to eat or everything is cut off yeah so they when get the it. higher goal the lower will drop correct yeah. and they have to be concentrated otherwise they can't make it correct that amount of uh, self -control. focus need focus focus and self control is needed needed Mm. We, because we are walking on a racer's edge yep this quest is a racer's edge the greed is for the higher yeah yeah and uh, if you keep your feet strongly on the racer's edge it will cut it cut it you have to sit on the edge like a fly <laughs> very light see we, we all of us that's a very nice point all of us have got a lot of ideas in our head lot of things we hold on to our convictions very tightly this is right this is wrong this is how it should be that should not it should be so maybe it's all loosening now a little bit thanks to prabhu ji uh, but there is we do have this strictly mm, this this so and so has to be here only especially people who are uh, cleanliness freaks uh you know which is a, which is very on the face of it is very nice it's very good oh this person is very clean it is good only but don't let that become my identity let all our convictions and you know strong ideas let it sit very lightly like a fly you know let it be very lightly sitting on us you should be able to let it go when it matters i don't mind you having that cleanliness as your gusti where problem starts is when i say hey, this is not the way to do things with to others yeah you expect them you, to be you do it by yourself how much ever you want yes ah uh, 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 you know asking other to do exactly like you yeah yeah that is where the problem starts huh. you be clean you want to take 10 times birth take birth no problem <laughs> correct correct don't expect the other man to do no yes and you wear it like a badge i do so many times sandhya vandana i do so many times bath i do so much japa no sorry <laughs> also, really... i do also okay pride don't say mm -hmm. you are dirty you are unclean you don't have cleanliness mm -hmm. you start you know 
calling people names right left and center no no yeah so that is why whatever i do even if i do 1000 japas per day whatever it is let it all sit very lightly on my shoulders that's all that's all we need to do don't let it become your identity none of the vishayas worldly vishayas can become my identity because my identity is sachidananda nothing should be my identity apart from that yes padmaja i am anta always i am yes that's nothing it. is simple i am nothing else is <laughs> correct morning before when as soon as you get up i am in between i am while i'm sleeping i am and that's all that's all that's all that's all very beautiful yes or if you are if you are not uh, satisfied with i am if it uh, sounds sound very vague then go for nama japa if you are a devotee if you have an ishta devata nama japa always 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 whenever by default it has to go to nama japa or i am whatever it has to go to the truth at any point of time good and uh, one more we can do a mardavam what is mardava anybody knows mardavam means softness gentleness oh my god this is so important all of us most of us some of the time sound very harsh no nobody likes would would i like somebody to be harsh to me no see that is the only metric do unto others as you would have others do unto you finish so simple isn't it so gentleness softness not just in speech that can be cultivated but in thoughts how much we uh, you know we do how harsh we can be in thoughts regarding someone else regarding myself also that harshness is there in us somewhere inside so everything inside outside has to become soft soft in speech thoughts and action uh <clears throat> sadaka one of the most important quality is softness Mark. if you see his behavior he will be very elevated soft spoken very friendly very kind you know the the way he walks talks itself you will know wow how i wish i could be like him correct okay. see even uh, outer outwardly you might someone some enlightened uh, gnani might sound harsh but the heart is like butter that much we can be very sure because these uh, outer qualities may may differ uh especially this nisarga datta maharaj and all they apparently they were they used to show anger a lot and their speech was rough because he came from a very rustic background so even that speech cannot be a uh, you know metric the heart always very soft the heart being soft is the main thing yes so smile very often how to become soft and gentle smile at everything maybe a child maybe a flower maybe at the sunset everything should make your heart soft whatever it is that that the universe should make me smile and become soft okay for smiling you need only to this thing but for <laughs> getting angry you need 47 muscles to move it seems hmm or is it the other way okay whatever no for getting angry so many things have to get prepared everything oh, that's why we do work. that in yoga that simhasana we do in yoga <laughs> so yeah. that many muscles are exercised yes okay. but when you smile just like this just mm. two things yeah and believe it or not it keeps your cheeks young <laughs> yeah that's why our guru ji is always laughing abba so cute is always laughing laughing i have a doubt yeah. so uh, uh, this uh, abusive words and uh, i mean uh, makes the other people unhappy oh, right yeah. so some uh, many a times it will be for our benefit only i agree but uh, if the other person feels unhappy um, what uh, how, what what effect it will give because if um, now if i scold my daughter for doing something wrong 
I will scold her, but next minute I am I am free out of it. But she, she will carry and that uh, psychic effect. No, so how to handle that? See, as a parent, you have got to do what you got to do. You know, there is no choice. You know, you have to scold your child. The child will get angry for two days. She will not talk to you, but the third day she will come back. Amma, amma. <laughs> See, they are all very fluid. Don't don't take it so seriously. See, one thing what Prabhu has said, your child is only, you are a custodian of your child. And how Krishna, you, you just have this, uh, this thing, mm, what would Krishna do? Of course, he would uh, scold, <laughs> uh, he, he would uh, tell whoever needs to be told, he would tell it. No, you just have to do it, Ashtay. We can't because the child has been given to me, I have to give all these qualities to the child. Till 18 years of age, I think I have every right to tell my child what is okay, what is not okay. You That's can it. tell. You, mm. you can soft pedal it. Soft pedal it. Carrot and stick. Sama, mm. dana, danda, beda. We have to use our viveka. <laughs> we, yes. know, we know our children best, what works with the child. You have all freedom, uh, Kamala, with your child. Because you are a good mother. You are a good parent. You will not do anything wrong. Just do it. It's it's going to be fine, isn't it? Anything else? I don't know. Uh, please, everyone, please share how you treat your children. Okay, may I? Uh, yes, please. Uh, so, I, with uh, parents and children, uh, many times it can happen that, uh, uh, you know, the stress can be vented out on the child because the child is the soft target. Yes, very soft. I think that uh, uh, as parents, we can be conscious of. Yes. That's the only thing. Otherwise, the when there is... corrected, correct. But when you want something to vent, don't take it out on the child. Very, very good point. Yeah. Or anybody for that matter. That's How? true. But uh, um, yeah, when there is unconditional love, uh, mm. I don't think any, you know, abusive words mm. or harsh words, all those things will not have any long, uh, you know, ah. repercussions, correct. according to me. How do? <laughs> yes. True. Yeah, so uh, it's not from a uh, parent's perspective. I'm asking from the child's perspective or the person, the easy target. So um, what do they have to do? Oh, Kamala, you should go to a Chimyananda school, mission school. <laughs> they have written in the boards what the children feel about how we behave. Oh, it's beautiful. I went one day mm. and I read all the reactions please don't yell at me okay. just because you're angry all this day children have written men mm. it's beautiful it is hard no nirmala on a day to day 24 bar 7 you're living with the child you are you are bound to yell <laughs> yeah. no, you you yell but i, I that's why said you soft pedal it soft okay. pedal it and then immediately or after a little while, go and cuddle the child and, you know, say nice things. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, that <laughs> I think we can do things. <laughs> mm. And some children are very sensitive, especially girls, uh -huh. I guess, are very sensitive. Yeah, I mean, it's very delicate matter. It's all... Yeah. The Kurmaji, if they're too gentle with the kids, uh, won't they become too sensitive? They won't be able to handle anything, right? How do so life will be, see, in the school, you are not in control, no, Indra. When they go mm -hmm. to society, you are not in control. They learn those skills, I think. Mm -hmm. They learn those skills, you know, it's inevitable. So we have to be a little harsh only at times. Strict. Strict, ha, strict. I, I taught my there son. There is no easy way around it. There are no easy answers, actually. Yeah. I taught my son, mm -hmm. if anybody beats you, you mm -hmm. should show the other cheek. <laughs> he Not went to the lesson. school <laughs> and that fellow gave one shot and he showed the other cheek mm. and he bashed him up and mm. he came back home and said mm. I don't want to go to school I said why you don't want to go to school mm. he said you, you said uh, show the other cheek I showed and he bashed me up mm. see I said like that, but you have to see the situation and behave accordingly. When you see he's coming so strongly, you should go far away from him. He said, see, you are, not teaching, you are not teaching me properly. 
you have taught me all wrong lessons i don't know to learn anything no we are we, we have a problem here we we, we mix up this vyavaharika with uh, paramarthika <laughs> that's very very difficult see all these qualities are for me first of all okay let me practice it and then let me teach the others hmm life is going to teach uh, everybody everything but now at this stage of life we can uh, make these uh, qualities very very strong in us so how to treat children how to bring up children it is completely instinctive if we our, our heart is in place i think we'll handle and this children getting angry sensitive all this we cannot avoid cannot avoid let us drop that uh, expectation in the first place my child should never get angry with me no she is she or he is going to get angry with you no choice didn't i get angry with my even today i get angry with my mother <laughs> but it is just for a little while isn't it it will go away because that bond is so strong and your love is so strong i don't think it's going to you know harm the child unless you mean it some people beat beat with a belt and all that so we are not in that category at all so whatever like sneha and uh, uh, others shared namna shared we do it for the welfare of the child so ultimately and they are going to realize see sometimes we realize after we grow up oh because my parents were so sick i am in this position we thank them also in retrospect so to expect a peace and quiet on a day to day basis moment to moment basis is difficult i think in vyavahara what do you think people i don't know maybe i am <laughs> it's it's a bit difficult. i completely <laughs> agree purnima <laughs> it's yes you yeah, know yeah um yeah. yeah it's hard to um, go with the kids like the way they think and the way nowadays all the social media and the yes. they're more sensitive in too many things and at the same time our experience our days used to be different back in days and now it's totally different and they get influenced a lot with various things mm. and we cannot compare what was our past or what our parents brought it to us and we want to you know influence in in similar way but mm. we can definitely give good qualities good things like how guruji or chinmay mission institutions and all they have for balavikas kind of programs or i lead kind of programs that can mold the kids in a better way yes yeah we have to expose them to all the good uh, culture and all that then then leave it to god what else can i do this much only as a human being as a mother i can do <laughs> and the one it, no. huh? sorry sorry uh, the one baseline across all generations is i think uh, the way parents come across uh, i mean as examples how uh, parents behave in front of the children Th that's what counts i feel that's what counts because if you have to you can, you should walk, walk the talk you know exactly how do please yadya racharati shreshtah we have read that shloka walking the talk itself Walking. Uh, walking the talk itself can be uh, a good example for them <laughs> or not walking not the talk not always uh, done because as adults we take we have some other uh, liberties like maybe watch tv till 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the night but yeah it, you have i mean you can't cut cut down your lifestyle because of the child so that <laughs> lies also have to be told you know <laughs> this is mine and this is yours this is where you stop Mm. very delicate and we i think we learn on the go <laughs> there is mm. no manual for any of mm. we learn yes. on you no you like uh, mm. if you if we take this example that you said mm. uh, so on a work day we when mm. the next day there is work mm. if you're uh, binging on tv or you know till late night and the uh, after uh, before the child sleeps yes. i mean the child then says okay it this can be done even on a work day that a that will but if it's uh, on maybe a weekend then yes i mean so atra uh, in every aspect i, I uh, we can try to be conscious i feel how do we can be conscious we should be and parents do a, such a lot you know for children you know we go, we feel we go we are doing so much they are going so much out of the way 
and yet it's not appreciated that frustration also will come into us yeah that is that conditional uh, yeah. idala andre no it's a doership i think right then we that's where the doership comes in expectation yeah. expectation. expectation is what that that attitude turns in yeah true yeah yeah, yeah. but but purnima ji oh, sorry sneha go ahead and i'll wait sorry yeah so um, i uh, i came across this talk by a sporting coach uh, recently on youtube and uh, he's i mean sporting parents um, how to deal with uh, children you know especially during uh, you know when they lose uh, uh, games and all that when they have not been able to put up their best so what he says is the first thing you should do is love them unconditionally all the time i mean uh, as much as possible it's very hard Uh, especially when uh, you know when you take the context of uh, sports or any other anything uh, any uh, kind of pursuit that they are doing it uh, when parents have invested so much time money and everything it's very hard to uh, not react when the child has not performed the best whether they win or lose so how to deal with it is the baseline he says is you have to give them unconditional love Mm. Yeah that I feel is um, uh, it can be applied otherwise also yes yeah. unconditional love has to be the baseline not just with your oh. child but with everyone mm. so <laughs> very very hard see words are easy but to make it <laughs> yeah how <laughs> to make it a living reality it's that very is hard that is the and, and i think also right like in is like let's say the parents couldn't do something we try to dump that on our kids like like you know so just because one parent couldn't play tennis so they'll make sure that they'll take their kids to tennis and make them do it irrespective of whether they want to do that or not mm-hmm. so i think if a child truly wants to play a sport mm-hmm. and if they have their heart and soul in it right mm-hmm. and they want to do best every time so mm-hmm. so i'll give you guys an example right my kids are like crazy about soccer right now they play for a club sometimes what happens is when they don't have enough kids they they end up getting split and they are in two different teams as a parent of twins who am i going to cheer <laughs> so so initially we got into this conflict saying you cheered for him this other guy would come and say you didn't clap for me you just like so oh. finally i had to literally make my kids sit down and i said listen mm. I can do a lot of other things. I don't want to be sitting in a soccer field on a cold winter day or a hot sunny day. I do not even like sun that much. I tan like crazy and I get sunburns. I'm like I will put lotion. I'm sitting there with an umbrella. I'm cheering you up. I'm doing everything. At the end of the day I said I want you guys to be happy. If you you keep continuing with this attitude, we don't have to go there. I said at the end of the day you win or lose it doesn't matter, right? You're happy, you gave your best. That's all is important. So that's the same thing. i keep telling and sometimes they still act up you know i'm not saying my kids are perfect but any means at 10 now they still act up and then if one gets if one gets some goals the other one hasn't gotten he's so sad he's so sad Wouldn't so we good. finally said irrespective of what happens we're going to get an ice cream depending on the weather or a hot chocolate that's the thing and mm-hmm. then when once we drink it we have to leave the game behind that's all it's eat or drink right good. so so that's what we follow but also another thing is it's so important with which which we teach our kids what is right what is wrong sometimes we forget not showing them what the wrong things are um they never know that it's wrong when they're doing it right so it's kind of important to expose them to some of this especially in this country right like there's so many different slur words languages it's so it, it becomes so difficult when a kid uses something unknowingly mm. it can become a huge issue so so one of my friends that's what happened like one of their kids used some something in the school it was very irrelevant it was very close to one of the slur words and it almost became like a back and forth with the parent and the teacher and everything and that's when it made me think you know we never expose our kids to bad words slur words and everything it's important sometimes to expose them little bit and say these are bad words this is what it means please do not use it i hope they don't mm-hmm. but um, it's like walking a very thin line i feel like putnima ji depending on the situation you have to react and become teachers like adaptable teachers is what our job is so that's what you have to you are learning on the go and you're responding to the situation because you come from a safe and a steady place that's also there when you have your values in place it won't be i mean you you'll do the right thing 
you will always guide your child in the right manner. Yeah, no right. <laughs> and really, there are no easy answers. I know all of us have got several questions about this, especially with kids. <clears throat> no easy answers. And it's all custom made for each, <laughs> each child. Mm. Uh, step, you tell me what else we shall we continue in the next class? It's 8.10. Any any more inputs but, on children? Yes, yes, madam. Remember one thing, but remember one thing. Hmm. You have a very permanent witness in the child. <laughs> it is watching you like a hawk. Hmm. You can teach more with your action than with your talk. Hmm. That's what. Yadya Dacharati Shrestha. That is also so hard, no? Yeah. <laughs> very hard. Very hard. Always <laughs> to watch my words, watch my actions. I mean, it's a whole new, I have to relearn the way because I have a little child at home. The words uh, we use, uh, we, we, are, we have to be very, temp we have to temper our speech, the way we talk also because now he picks up like that and he will repeat it again. It's very hard. <laughs> it's fun though. It's nice to watch them. I don't know. I, I seriously don't have any answers to this. Uh, existential questions we have answers for. Not for Vyavaharika questions. <laughs> Look, I want to end with this beautiful anecdote uh, to, to tell you, tell us all that not to take everything too seriously. That is the main thing here. Okay, not to take everything seriously. This uh, uh, Chinmaya, uh, Swami Chinmayananda, he, he was Bala Krishna Menon when he, he, when he was a student, right? And he went to his master Chidananda, Swami Chidananda, who was the disciple of Tapovan Maharaj. So he went to Chidananda. And Shivananda. Went, huh? Shivananda. Shivananda. Shivananda, no, sorry. Yeah, Swami Shivananda, he went. And he, he was a student along with others. And on one occasion, all the students, uh, there was some conflict between the, among the students. And uh, they all pointed the finger to Balakrishna Menon. He did it. He was the one who did it. And of course, it was not him who did it. So he vehemently, Balakrishna said, no, I didn't do it. He went on, he, he took his uh, stand. No, I didn't do it. The others went on saying, no, you he did. Then they went to the master, Shivananda. So Shivananda said, yes, Balakrishna, you did it. And that was the end. You know, he felt so humiliated. He felt so angry. He felt so betrayed. My master is also not believing me. He was so amazed. He was so angry that he started packing his bag and he started to leave the ashram. There is no use leaving where my words are not valued or I'm not recognized for my virtues and all these things are was happening in his mind and he was started to leave. And the Swami uh, Shivananda said only one thing to this Balakrishna Menon. Balakrishna, day in and day out you have been hearing that this world is mithya, this world is a dream, the world is a lie and this small lie is bothering you so much, he said. The small lie that you did something is bothering you so much and that was when uh, Balakrishna Menon fell at his master's feet and stayed back in the ash. So, again, what is the lesson here? Let everything sit very lightly on us. Let us not take anything too seriously. When we take it too seriously, all everything will bother us big time. Yes or no? Agreed or not? Child is angry with me. Okay, let her be. Let her cool off. We'll come back. I don't know. Am I right or uh, does it make sense or what? Should we, should we of it? course, everything you say, everything in this uh, Dharma Kshetra makes absolute sense. Just that there's so many things to <laughs> learn, you know. <laughs> no, only one thing to learn. Don't take mm. everything too seriously. Mm. Only one thing. Don't take myself seriously also. <laughs> and don't take the world seriously also. Mm. This too shall pass. Mm. Even I'm feeling very depressed. It will pass. I cannot stay depressed forever. <laughs> I'm feeling mm. very happy. It's going to pass. You're not going to feel very happy forever. That itself is enough to show that it is all a mithya, dream. Mm. Just like in a... Alva. 
you wake you cannot wake up to the same dream uh, and go and undo some wrong it's not not happening so all these things see when when things become impossible take a step back a step that's the only solution take a step back and look at the big picture the perspective Hmm. Tomorrow, hmm. twenty-four hours later, will it be the same? One week later, will this be the same? One year later, will it bother me? Hmm. Definitely, the answer will be no. It would have changed. Time would have changed. Perspective would have changed. The person in front of you would have changed. Everything would have changed. Alwa. Hmm. Right. You see, it is my expectation that uh, you know X Y Z should become again very normal with me all over again. No. it will not happen that person also will take the time will take its own her own his own sweet time hmm? mm. this is vyavahara jagat baba what can you do it is full of faults ha huh. we will end with one question why has world why has god created an imperfect world why we all agree that the world is imperfect yeah so that we make attempts to make it little better towards the perfection and we also work towards perfection if everybody is perfect then where is the room for improvement ah we cannot make the world perfect that is the the impact imperfection of the world is for us to turn inward you try to do 100 things with the outer world it's not going to be enough you can never make it is like kutte ka dum Ah. Amma, gold is not imperfect, Amma. That is your mind. How you take it? Gold is not imperfect. No, world is not imperfect. Oh, how we Ado. take, how we think. Na mind alva. I do. Adala higher, higher. Adar eh? If Takshna bandhu yaro na manna imane indo orgada akutro. En mada the vaga imperfect world oh. Ha ya gidde na na mane le. Ah. So, vyavahara jagatali. day to day basis moment to moment basis it is imperfect it goes against my expectations the minimum expectations are also sometimes not met isn't it chandra see we have now come to that stage uh, to say that uh, you know it all it's all in my mind so before that stage see the the why we are saying that the world is imperfect is don't run after it for satisfaction anta ashte uh, yes yes that is the point you cannot expect uh, you know perfect uh, happiness or satisfaction from your worldly transactions be it your own child it's not possible that is why take a step back look at the big picture and says okay this is what it is baba don't expect too much from this relationship does that make sense hmm? yes 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 that's that the only thing which can work Otherwise, we'll go on fretting. How can I make this right? How can I make that right? How can I see all these daily qualities are listed, but only so much they will help with the. These are all for me, not for uh, uh, perfection in the world. Perfection in me, basically. Ashte. Okay. Eight twenty. Shall we close for the day? Sure. Thank you. सदम तमसोम ज्योतिर्गम मृत्योर्मृतंगम ओ शाति 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 नानेबुदुनानल्लाह मन बुद्धि नान सच्चिदानंदात्म शिव नानु नाने शिवोहम 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 लोका समस्ता सुखिनो लोका समस्ता सुखिनो लोका समस्ता सुखिनो हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम